Hello and welcome to this video, welcome to my video, of the Orion Skyview Pro uh, 8 inch on the equatorial mount. Um, I think I have promised somebody on uh, my channel that I would do a video about this. So um, let's start with this wonderful telescope. Um, excuse my recording capabilities, I'm new at this. I do my best, and I hope you guys like it. Um, so anyway, this is the OTA optical tube assembly, eight inch. This is the equatorial mount. This guy right here, real good. I'll show you how it works. I apologize for the backgrounds. Uh, you know, everybody's working from home, so, you know, we're in the garage. This is what we do. I'm going to go ahead and take out this cover, show you guys the inside. So that's the, uh, that's the mirror. There you go. It's a beautiful mirror. Eight inch mirror. And, uh, what do we got on top over here? We have a regular focuser. It's not a... A uh, two-stage focuser. It's just a regular focuser. That's what they provide. It's not bad. It really isn't. Honestly, if you know how to fiddle with this, and, and once you know how to fiddle with this, you will find out that uh, focusing in and out um, can be pretty precise. As long as you get this fairly tight to the extent of you moving the wheel very slowly. So, for example, right there... As you can tell, it's barely moving in and out as I push this. Um, it'll do the job. And then over here, we have the uh, standard uh, Orion 8 by 40 eyepiece. It's very, hel uh, very, very helpful. Um, and here, let's see, that's uh, the sticker. Oh gosh, I apologize for the light. Skyview Pro 8 inch equatorial reflector telescope. 203 by, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. I have a light right above me so I can brighten this beast up. Let me go ahead and take this off for a second. There you go, that's what we're working with. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the additions that I have for this bad boy. This little piece right here, I got off of Amazon for about 20 bucks. It allows me to put the uh, 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 viewfinder and then uh, laser. This guy, a lot of people, well, a lot of people, some people will tell you, you don't need a yada 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 yada. There are a lot of different consensus about these things. Um, I find it very, very useful. Very useful. And the reason I find this very useful is because if I am searching around for something before I look through this bad boy over here, if this is properly aligned to this and this is properly aligned to this right here, when I look for something out in the sky and I'm showing somebody anything, this guy right here is going to point to probably within about 10% or less um, accuracy. So it's 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 nice to do that. It really is. It, it it's it's helpful. I think I, I've posted some videos on on different um, groups where people have chimed in, and I think the majority of people have said, "Wow, that is really cool. It's helpful." And I do think it's helpful. I've had a few people in my house that are like, oh, what are you looking for? Oh, you know, this thing, over, where is this thing? Well, you know, let me turn this thing on. And I turn on the laser and it, it gives them a perception of where it is. And once they look through the telescope or once you look through the telescope, it, 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 it does a decent job at uh, pointing things out. So anyway, we're going to move around to the optical tube assembly. 8-inch telescope, like I said. It's really nice. I, uh, I'm in an 8-bordal um, 
scenario. So uh, things are very, very bright for me. Um, this guy right here and this guy right here, this is what allows you. Oh, going up to move the telescope. Ah. And as you can tell, even though I have a bunch of stuff on there, it is fairly well balanced. And this is this is very important because once you start adding things onto your telescope, you have to balance the telescope. And you notice I have this thing here. And the reason I have this thing here is honestly, I don't know. I felt like it was a good idea to have that there in case I ever wanted to add a piece of paper or anything that just, you know, I, I want to add something that I want to read or whatever. I can I can put it in between and I, I don't know. It's it's just me. So anyway, this is the Orion Sky View Pro. Again, with all the hardware on there. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing, even though this seems very well balanced, I do add a Celestron NexYZ camera adapter to it, which somewhat slightly brings it out of balance. And the reason I say slightly is because I didn't want to balance it just for that, because I use that somewhat rarely. So I'm okay with the fact that it may be slightly out of balance because all I have to do is just adjust the knobs on here. And now it's no longer moving. You don't want to put too much weight on it, you know, so you don't want to have it too unbalanced because if you do decide like I will in the very near future, uh, decide to add the tracking motors, uh, which actually really go on here and here from Orion. If you fiddle with these things and you don't keep them balanced enough and, and you add a lot of weight to them and, and just, you know, obviously you don't take good care of them, um, the motors are going to start uh, receiving a, an amount of wear that, that are going to hinder your your uh experience in 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 tracking things right because this is where you add a tracking camera from right there and right there you know you put the uh you know you, there's there's a lot of things you could do with this thing and and you know what i'll i'll, I'll give you uh, um my specific um um perspective there are a lot of people out there that say that you need to have a very 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 stable tracking mount and tripod for um you know tracking and and I agree with them I don't disagree with them what I do disagree with is a lot of people online saying that this is not the proper uh, uh mount for for good tracking um and and the reason i disagree with some of those um statements is that i think it is a good proper mount for doing that as long as you take good care of it and as long as you don't put a massive amount of weight now if i decide to put a huge viewfinder with a tracking camera on here and a huge camera on here uh, you know, eventually things are going to start being unstable, right? So I'm not describing this specific setup as um, the best of the best by any means whatsoever. There are so many better ones out there and I don't want to get into them because personally, I don't know them. I, this is what I know. But I do know that if you were to, um, you know, uh, add a, a small tracking camera and a decent small uh, uh uh, you know, uh, 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 excuse me, um, uh, deep space camera to this bad boy right over here. Um, I I think you could do a lot with this setup. 
and a tracking motor for uh, a lot less than uh, what people are, are are spending out there, right? So realistically speaking, if you were to get, you know, uh, the tracking cameras out there and a, a good, a good uh, deep space camera, I think you can make, which is my intention, to make this telescope um, real good for deep space uh, observation and stacking and so on and so forth. I think if I were to spend somewhere around 1500 bucks, I can make this really, really, really good. Obviously, probably not in my backyard, uh, being in a Bortle 8, uh, but if I were to take it out to uh, the desert, um, you know, where, where I'm from, um, it's probably about two hours away um, in, in a Bortle, uh, maybe four or so, um, then this would become a very viable solution for real intensive stuff, right? So um, anyway, my, my point is to show you guys what the Orion Skyview 8 telescope um, is and how it works. And, and um, you know, uh, keep in mind, sorry, I'm, I'm all over the spectrum right now. Um, it's just because uh, th there's so much information and I'm, I'm, I'm really new at this um, in comparison to so many other people out there. I'm sure there are many other people I could do the same video with the same telescope and half the time and explain to you the, the things that I'm trying to explain to you. But as a newbie, um, things that you want to look forward to is um, this right here, good, uh, a good tripod. This is a very decent introductory um, equatorial mount. These guys, I very much recommend that you look at videos online, which there are so many, so many out there that'll teach you how to properly balance the telescope. And I, I really urge you to learn this part because anytime you add anything here, this part is detrimental to your telescope being aligned. As you can tell, I have not changed anything in the in the knobs here they're all free willing they're, they're going as they can and none of them are moving and that's all because i have taken the time to you know uh, balance these things properly and and i i or, urge you again to learn how to balance this because every time you add anything to that portion over there this is going to come off balance right so once you learn how to do this even if you don't have anything on there do it do it 10 20 30 times do it until you know what you have to do when something comes off balance because once you learn those things you add something to this portion and balancing it is going to be so second nature to you that it's literally going to take you a minute Without knowing this stuff, trying it offhand, honestly, it's going to take you like half an hour just for one thing, you know, and, and, and you're going to be so frustrated and, and it's so not needed to be frustrating for something that if you, you know, repetition, right? You try something over and over and, and eventually you know how to do it. And uh, yeah, so gosh. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, I appreciate this. Um, again, Orion Skyview Pro, 8-inch on the uh, equatorial mount uh, that Orion provides. Um, works wonderful. Really does. I, I am very excited to eventually turn this thing into an astrophotography uh, piece. Uh, what I do at the moment is I use... Um, as of about two, three weeks ago, uh, a Samsung Galaxy S8 or S21 Plus uh, Ultra. Um, and I use the uh, Celestron XYZ mount. And I take pictures with it. And, and, you know, they're okay. They're not bad. Again, I'm a Bortle 8, so, you know, they're okay. They're not bad. See, there you go. It, and moves a little bit. I think I could do a little bit better on the uh, on the on the balancing there. Actually, I don't think it's going to be that bad because I did push it and it does stop. So yeah, I think that's 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 pretty decent. 
again, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, again, this uh, this is, I think it's somewhere around uh, 650 bucks off of Orion. Um, oh, sorry, before I go uh, uh, offline, um, as far as eyepieces go, gosh, man, there's so many out there. There, there really are. Um, you know, everybody out there suggests that you get the top of the line. Don't do that. Um, the reason I say don't do that is not that they're not good. They're extremely good. It's just, you know, as a starting person, don't go to a $200 eyepiece. And the reason I say that is because you can find very decent eyepieces on Amazon and, and, and many other places that will, um, very much suffice your viewing um, for about, gosh, somewhere between 30 to 60 bucks. Um, I'll give you an example. I bought a 65 inch, uh, eyepiece, um, somewhere around six months ago and a 65 degree. Yeah. 65 degree eyepiece. Um, and, and I've been in love with it. Uh, Orion makes great eyepieces. Uh, if you can, if you can search the secondary market, I would do that. Um, I bought a 15 millimeter, uh, I think it's 65 wide Orion eyepiece that goes for about 50 to 60 bucks, uh, brand new. I think I bought it for somewhere around 30 or 25 or 30 bucks online from somebody local. So, you know, always look local before you look brand new. There's nothing wrong with buying brand new. I don't, you know, I don't want to steer you away from, from brand new, but you know, everybody wants to save money in, in these times. So look local, always look local. There's nothing with lo wrong with local and, you know, always make sure that you see, uh, if it is local enough to you, you see the piece that you're, you're, you're buying, or at least for that matter, you, uh, ask for more pictures and so on and so forth. Um, and finally, to, to close this out, the laser on here, um, it comes with a clamp. This little piece that I bought off of Amazon comes with a clamp, but it does come with the clamp that that uh, uh, basically uh, kind of, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a little circle that goes around the laser that allows you to um, allow the laser to be on constantly. The, the problem is, is that this thickness is way too big for the clamp that they gave me. So temporarily I devised this. I actually have something else in the house that um, I'm going to put on here, which is actually just a, a, a little grocery uh, holder thing that hangs on and then you just put it on and take it off. Um, you know, there are many ways to do it, but, you know, in a pinch right now, as I'm trying to show to you guys um this is this is what i did the other night and and, and it, it works for me it's 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 terrible it, please don't mock me on this i know it's it's absolutely horrendous to put a a wire on there and then slip it on as i do right now ah uh, gosh you see it's taking me forever see that's that's why you don't want to do this but it worked last night when i was using it so ah forget about it forget it yeah uh, thanks. Thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm going to have another video for my 12 inch telescope and, and hopefully that's going to help you guys out. Appreciate your, uh, um, you know, uh, your time. And if you have any questions, please, uh, put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer to them. Um, just be aware that I'm terrible at answering questions. So don't expect a, a question in, uh, in a very timely matter. Um, God bless, and of course, as always, clear skies to everyone.